Members of the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco are calling on the state attorney general in California to review the DA's decision not to prosecute that security guard. There have been widespread protests there, similar to protests in New York City, before a DA decided to file manslaughter charges against a former Marine who killed a homeless man on the subway. 24-year-old Daniel Penny was arraigned in Manhattan criminal court on second-degree manslaughter charges on Friday. He was released after posting bail. For more on this, let's bring in trial attorney Mercedes Colwin and Dr. Daniel Bober, chief medical officer at Odyssey Behavioral Healthcare. Mercedes, I'd like to start with you. These are two wildly different outcomes. The security guard yep. not charged at all. The Marine charged with manslaughter. Why? Well, it really boils down to whether or not Daniel Penny really truly believed he was an imminent threat himself or the passengers. And what's so key there is that there were others, there were strangers who were actually helping Daniel Penny su subdue Jordan Neely. So it's so bizarre right now, but we're still in the beginning stages. The defense attorneys are already out there. They're putting out pressers. They're saying that obviously he was, a, they felt threatened. He obviously did not, Daniel Penny did not believe for a moment that his actions would result in Jordan Neely's death. That's very key here. But it really, we haven't really heard from Daniel Penny. We're only healing from, from his attorneys. The attorney, the district attorney has a lot of discretion. Mm. They have a lot of discretion when it comes to this. But Obviously, are you surprised in San Francisco after watching that video that the DA would not file charges against the, the security guard? I'm not surprised they didn't file charges because, frankly, I was surprised that there were charges against Daniel Penny because okay. there were so many individuals that came forward. At least there were 911 calls. They were obviously very threatened. They felt threatened. So it was a little surprising that DA in New York filed charges. Doctor, um, the, this Marine, Daniel Penny, said he put Jordan Neely in a chokehold after he began yelling and acting threatening to other passengers. You know, this is on a subway. You're trapped in this car. I ride the subway every day. I know what it feels like until the next stop. That can be sometimes one minute, sometimes it's five minutes. Daniel Penny says he acted to defend himself and fellow passengers, two of whom, as Mercedes just pointed out, helped hold him down. Most of the time, people just watch. They don't intervene, right? Right, but you know, this is a sad commentary on society. Jordan Neely did not need to die. We have a homelessness problem in this country. 30% of them have mental illness or addiction, and up to 10% of them are veterans, just like Daniel Penny. So Jordan Neely did not need to die. Take a look at a city like Houston that was able to cut its homeless population by 60% by taking the position of what's called homeless first, meaning providing housing first before you treat mental illness and addiction. If someone is drowning in the ocean, that is not the time to tell them to take swimming lessons. Right. So there are things that we can do to help. And it's very sad that Jordan Neely slipped through the cracks. It's definitely sad that he slipped through the cracks. It's definitely sad that the city failed him. But in the meantime, Daniel Penny was on the subway with this man, at, along with a handful of other passengers. There's no video yet of what Neely was doing before Penny put him in the chokehold. But witnesses say he was yelling that he was hungry, that he doesn't care if he goes to jail and gets life in prison. He said, quote, I'm ready to die. Penny thought that was threatening. Is he right? Well, listen, I wasn't there. I didn't see what happened but it seemed like he was in the throes of a mental illness. And it seems like with all those people on the subway, I find it difficult to believe that Daniel Penny really felt like his life was threatened. But again, I was not there. I didn't see it. I didn't participate and I wasn't a witness. Right. And I've, I've got to say, uh, as a subway rider, I, I, I don't think you understand perhaps maybe how alarming that can be. Mercedes, I want you to take a look. I don't know, doctor, if you can see this video, but take a look at this video here. It also shows a mentally ill homeless man on the subway um, he's yelling. He's acting erratically. When two women try and scooch away, he grabs one of the women by the hair and pulls her down. She's pleading, somebody help me, if you can see close up on her mouth. Nobody does. My question is, legally, right. do you have to wait until somebody says, I'm going to attack you to act in self-defense? No, Elizabeth. It's because really that man in that video was just yelling. He wasn't saying, I'm going to grab you, I'm going to hit you. Sure. I mean, if you truly believe that you are being threatened and that your life may be in danger, you can act in self-defense. Problem is, you're going to have 12 jurors that are going to decide whether or not you really were, had the legitimate basis to say that you acted in self-defense. And it was a rational, reasonable act that you took this, this action. What's going to be key for Daniel Penny 
was what took place, exactly what you said, what took place before, right before. he put him on the chokehold, and the fact that there's strangers there helping him hold Jordan kneeling yeah. down. That's really critical. And I understand why the doctor would feel the way. It is a homeless problem. It's a, it's it's a, a crisis. It's a huge homeless problem and a huge mental illness problem. Exactly. And doctor, you're right. We have to do more in the city and in this country to address it. I'm sure it's something we hope to talk Very about more on this show. Absolutely. Yeah, it really is so sad. Uh, doctor, thank you so much. Mercedes, always good to have you thank on you. the show. Great to thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.